Hey guys, today I'm going to show you another quick review. Um, this is an easy way to download an MP3. Not necessarily a whole album, but if there's a specific MP3 you want to download, specific song, any artist, there's a site that'll literally search every site on the web for that specific file with that extension, the file extension, that .mp3 of that specific song you're looking for. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Because a lot of people, they say, they ask me, um, where can I download music? Because, you know, maybe FrostWire doesn't work, or I don't like Views, or since LimeWire doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to show you how to download a specific MP3. It's very easy, and it doesn't involve any programs that you have to download or anything. This, is act this actually works on Mac and PC, obviously, because... Um, you're not using any programs, so it's going to be universal. You're just using a website. So what you do is um, just go to www.filestube.com. That's FilesTube, kind of like YouTube, only FilesTube.com, F-I-L-E-S-T-U-B-E, FilesTube.com. You'll notice it's similar to YouTube. Um, now, very handy site. This can be used for movies and everything, all that, but any file. But right now we're just going to be focusing on um, just MP3s. So here, um, from, from this drop-down box, select MP3. Select that file extension. Now, this to search now search for any song and artist. Now if you put like a song like, um, I don't know, like, you know, if it's like a song title that's probably a, more, a lot of artists sing, you're going to get a lot of results. So narrow it down by doing this. Like, um, here, Hillsong dash unite, um, Hillsong United dash Hosanna. See, if I just put Hosanna, I'd probably get a lot of results. So always put the artist then put dash, and then the song. So let's search. Remember, um, put the, the artist, then a dash, then the song. And then you'll get a lot of results. Look down here and make sure um, that it says .mp3. You want, want to make sure it's an mp3 file and you're not downloading some random file. So here. If it says size about, you know, 1 MB to 7 MB or so, somewhere around that, you know, 5 MB. And right here where it says EXT, that's extension, MP3. That's the file format, so you know that's an MP3. Now you would go down here and click download. Then um, you would click download again right here. Just wait one second for it to load. All right. Then it'll bring you to the site that it's hosted on. Takes a second to load, just... Okay, this one you have to be registered on, but some are like that, so here. Let's go back. Um, Here's one, um, same thing, just click download. There's going to be several, a lot of results for the same thing. It doesn't matter which one you click. You just, as long as the, it's um, exactly what you search, like, you know, Hillsong-United or whatever song it is you searched, um, then that's most likely what it's going to be. All right, now it brings you to the site. Now, you usually... All sites are different, but you're going to see all different kind of all different kinds of um, sites and layouts, and like it's not always going to be foreshared.com. A lot of the time it is, but um, you'll notice there's usually two download buttons: either a fast download or a premium download. Always hit click slow download or fast down. I mean slow download or free download. Never click the fast or the premium. You'll say, why? It's faster. No, because um, you had to pay for that. Just click slow download. It'll still be very fast. It's just an MP3. So here, we'll just click this download now. 
with that like slow download as long as it doesn't say like premium so we'll click that usually it makes you wait like 30 seconds um, so we'll just wait for that to go Like I said, this is very good for just searching for specific MP3s. Because, you know, it's like, oh, I just want one song and I don't want to download the whole album with the torrent. Alright, so here a link just appeared and download file. Click it once. And there you go. It's downloading. It's just a single MP3, so it's going to download very fast depending on your connection speed. You can click that window off both windows off and it should open in iTunes like it is for me right now and there you go and remember that's good for just specific mp3s and everything like that um, so if you just want to search for a specific mp3 that's what you can do